<clears throat> in the last class, uh, we started this chapter and we discussed this the difference between the dock harbor and port. We discussed about uh, uh, the wet dock and the uh, dry dock that we discussed, and we are, we are just starting that components of the harbor. Okay. So, what is this components uh, of harbor? Uh, this is the layout that we are discussing in the last class. And uh, entrance cell that we know that is the entrance cell, okay, where the ships are entered. And this breakwater, breakwater means it is just a boundary wall, you can say. You can say the boundary wall which enclosed the, which enclosed this area, okay. Okay, and uh, just to protect this harbor, just to protect this harbor from the tide and wave. The turning basin, turning basin means here this area is called, uh, is called turning where means the seas, uh, ships are take turns so that it can birth it somewhere, okay. And the shelter basin, this only portion is called shelter basin, piers are constructed here. And the piers are actually constructed just so that the um, ships are tied with the piers, can be tied with the piers. Warp and quay. Warp and quay just unloading and unloading. These are the platforms like uh, in railway station platforms are there. So here are the platforms, okay. Here this, uh, the ships are, uh, are unloaded and loaded and unloaded, okay. The cargo and the passengers, okay. Dry dock and wet dock. Dry dock is a place, you see here it is dry person. There is no water in here. You can see repair work is carried out here. Repair work. And here in the wet dock, Loading and unloading also carried out. Loading and loading of the cargo. And jetty, jetty is actually, it is a narrow uh, platform you can say. It can be made uh, inside or outside of the harbor. And it is a, um, it is also uh, used for the loading and unloading of the some materials, okay. Okay, so what is this uh, breakwater? Breakwater that, that I told that is the protective barrier, okay. Constructed to form an artificial harbor with a water area so protected from the effect of sea waves so as to provide safe accommodation for the shipping. Okay, uh, to here this, uh, this um, barriers or boundary walls is constructed. And the alignment is made straight as possible and intersection angle between the two of this uh, breakwater is, is not, should not be greater than 60 degrees. In open sea, the alignment should be curved or to reduce the effect of waves. To reduce the effect of waves, the alignment is made curved, like this here. It is straight here. There is no alignment. The curve. There is no wave here, or the tide. There is no wave here, or the wind. Here there will be. This is the open sea area. If there will be wind or uh, waves, so it is made curved. Here single entrance. Uh, this was a uh, double entrance. Okay, in this side and this side. And here single entrance. The single entrance. This is the uh, these are the wind direction, the wave direction. So it is made uh, curve. Okay. Here it is a uh, another alignment. These are just the types of alignment of the uh, breakwater. This is the overlap. Okay, overlap is called overlap alignment. Next is the design consideration for the breakwater. What are the information required? What are the factors to, uh, which determine the selection of breakwater which type of material is used okay these are the factors we uh, are considered the information requirements character of the coastal current direction of and force of winds that information is required availability and cost of material that is required nature of foundation required provide maximum height force and intensity of waves okay these informations are required for the design the factors in the availability of construction matter depth uh, construction material depth of water condition of sea foundation availability of equipment okay these are the information it is in very much necessary for the uh, for the selection of the breakwater depending upon the type of material is available nearby area so the type of breakwater the type of that wall is selected and the forces which is considered uh, major forces are the hydrostatic wind and wave force force okay and also here since sea water is you know that is the salt water so that uh, durability factor is also considered okay if it is uh, exposed to any salt water 
type of breakwater it can be a vertical wall type or bubble wall type or composite type and depending on the material okay, uh, the vertical wall type this is the vertical wall type the the material means your concrete block okay the like gravity walls we are constructing okay it can be concrete masonry stone masonry or brick masonry you can say rock fill sheet piles can be uh, used timber uh, piles can be used steel, uh, steel sheet piles can be used okay these are the vertical wall type and this vertical wall type is provided where seabed is non erodible no chance of settlement okay and depth of water is more than two times the maximum wave height okay these are the factors it means foundation should be strong it means foundation should be strong if there should not be settlement it should not be non erodible okay this vertical types is provided in rubble mode it's like earthen dam or you can say the banks of the river the slope in both side okay because it is not made of concrete or the steel or wood wood it's just natural available material like rocks or, or pebbles are used that's why Uh, to make it stable so both side are uh, slope made slope okay and here it can be uh, concrete block blocks also can be provided to uh, some layers okay? and the core material core uh, the uh, waste material can be used okay there are different types of uh, rubble mold type depending upon the type of construction okay then the type of layers of the materials we are using and the intermediate layer we can say that is used to store so rubble stones are used upper portion are means the blocks they are concrete blocks or some uh, usual concrete blocks are uh, is used okay or plain cement cement concrete uh, plain cement okay uh, sand cement blocks can be used next is uh, composite type composite type means it is consist of uh, this vertical wall type and the this uh, rubble mold type Usually, this uh, this rubble mold type is uh, in the base portion, and this upper portion is vertical type. And this superstructure, this structure is protected by uh, by parapet on the sea plus. Okay, this uh, whole structure is uh, protected by parapet on the sea plus. This uh, and the provide platform for handling cargo. Even this in this vertical mold type, the platform must might be there. Okay, which can handle uh, the cargo. Like you're loading or loading or something, some operations is required. Okay, there is uh, space or there is um, scope is there. Okay, so it is a rubble base over which a vertical wall type is constructed. So it is a combination of vertical wall type and this uh, mold uh, type. Okay, the mold type uh, wave breaks are the wave breaks are the breakwater means are the breakwater wall the wave breaks. But here it reflects the wave energy in the vertical wall type. A large entrance, a narrow entrance, required double mold type because there is a uh, made of natural material which is not so strong. So strong, so regular entrance is required. Here, maintenance is not required because it is strong, uh, it very strong, and uh, but the foundation also should be strong. So because sulphur is more, and here the any type of foundation can be constructed, and this mold type is uh, used to have plenty of rocks available. And here there is shortage. If there is shortage of rocks, okay, and require on skill level, okay. Here it requires skill level. Like uh, the difference between the concrete dam and the or the masonry dam with the this earthen dam, okay. It is like that. More rubble mold type and this vertical wall type, same type of difference. Who are sources of the platforms? Like in uh, railway station, these are platforms at which the vessels take on discharge passage and cargo on one side and that the earth return on the other. Okay, wharf can be constructed at any opposite, any point in the let's say here in the harbor. Okay, it is a platform built parallel to the shoreline. Actually, specifically, if it is parallel to the shoreline, fully parallel and basically long, then it is called quays. If it is parallel to the shoreline, it is called quays. Sufficient depth is required here so that uh, um, for the ship to float. Okay, so that loading and unloading can be happen. And built to retain or protect the embankment or tiling. And this is the type of wharf: open construction wharf. This is the open construction wharf. Deck supported by piles and cylinders. Piles and cylinders. These are the wharfs. Okay. You can either high level decks or trilling type platforms. Okay. Like can be made of arches, timber. It can be arches or timber. Okay. Precast or pre-stressed slabs can be used for economical purpose. 
solid type one. Solid type one, like solid concrete type, can be used with composed of earth, rock, field, fertile compound, or some sort of bucket. The depth should be less than 15 meter. Bottom suitable for support of gravity type of structure. Okay. So this is uh, solid type works. And the coils is where uh, the built uh, parallel with the shoreline, like here, parallel with the shoreline. To retain and protect the embankment, this sea embankment, the shore embankment, it protect. Okay. That's why it's made parallel to the shoreline to support the platform above. Okay. Actually, the operation wise, the use of these square walls and work walls, everything is same. Construction wise, everything is same. Only the location wise, it is different. And uh, uh, the size wise, it is different. Quails, uh, quail walls are long, narrow, very narrow. Okay. And it is made uh, parallel with the shoreline. Along the shoreline, it is constructed. More or less, uh, both are same. Quails and work are set. Only a little bit in the uh, position of this structure. Next is jetties. Jetties is a narrow structure projecting from the shore into water with both on one or both side. Here is the jetty. Okay, let this is the this is the um, shore into the water. Okay, it can be in this side. Let this is the jetty in this side. In this side, the the uh, ships can take birth. Okay, in this end end also in this side. In this side here at this time. At, uh, sorry, at this end. At this end. In this side and this side, all these sides it can be I mean, sub ships can take birth. So in the form of pile projection constructed outside the harbor or inside the harbor, it can be constructed inside or outside. And built in combination with the breakwater, it is known as breakwater pier. The jet is a solid platform constructed perpendicular to the shoreline or breakwater. It provides birth to ships. It is used for handling impermeable material like petrol, diesel, kerosene, crude oils. Okay. So it is not only used for berthing and also used for this uh, loading and unloading of this type of materials, petrol, diesel, because uh, this type of material uh, with the, uh, is not uh, carried out in the park or uh, this uh, quail. So it is uh, in the wharf uh, platform, it is not uh, carried out. Inside the sea, okay, it is done, the petrol, diesel, kerosene, because these are inflammable material. It can be used for grazing in the upper channel. Okay. Okay, so these jetties are used especially for birthing of ships, for handling of means for loading or unloading of the inflammable uh, materials like petrol, diesel, kerosene, crude oil. Okay. Next is this type of jetty, solid type, it can be pile type. Depending uh, depending upon the construction. Uh, the material which are used for the construction, it is different types, solid type, pile type, and there is open pile that is, okay, solid type it is usually of mold breakwater type, like mold breakwater it is used more for prevention of silting in the interest channel, means um, it is like the slope, okay, like mold, mold type, it is provided uh, near the entrance, okay. So that there will be no uh, silting in the entrance. Let this is the entrance. Let this is the entrance. Okay. If it is constructed, then there will be no silting. So pile type structure. Open pile jet is cheaper than solid type, but having same durability can be used for jet is required to be very wide. Timber RCC steel is used. Steel jet is are supported in screw piles. Timber and RCC are suitable for large jet is okay. The different situation, different types of materials are used for the construction. Open open pile jet is like these are the open pile jet is there is no uh, there is no supporting support will be there here okay there is no support here these are the jet is and here the ships are birth take um, takes birth okay pile and cylinder that is piles are completely encased in concrete cylinders these are the concrete cylinders okay cylindrical columns are. and cylinders don't capable of sustaining heavy impact heavy impact of the ship here is taken by taken by this uh, these piles okay so uh, this these are the about the different components of this uh, harbor okay okay this much for this today class uh, this much thank you thank you so much in next class we'll discuss about different types of harbor okay thank you thank you so much